Well, MTS has launched their Clean Ride campaign to try to make sure their employees and riders stay safe on trolleys and buses. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us the impact COVID-19 has had on mass transit. MTS officials say they've seen a drop of about 75% when it comes to ridership ever since the coronavirus pandemic hit. But now they're seeing an uptick and they're also sharing the ways they're making sure everyone stays safe. Nikki Jefferson has relied on the trolley to get to work for the last three years. When the cases of COVID-19 started popping up in the county, she was nervous about getting back on board. Sometimes, but I still use hand sanitizer just in case, like after my last stop. Anytime I touch the button easily. To help control the spread of the coronavirus, the MTS has made changes. They are now cleaning their 800 buses and 135 trolley cars twice a day, even using the deep cleaning fogging technique to disinfect high touch areas. They've also installed hand washing stations at their 54 transit stops. And to protect their drivers, they've built a plexiglass barrier that adds an extra layer of protection on buses. Fashion Valley Transit Center by Hotel Shirt. So far, 33 MTS employees have tested positive for the coronavirus, with 22 who have recovered and have returned to work. The MTS is also requiring face masks. We're going to educate all of our customers so that they know that you can't come on board without a mask or some kind of face covering. A move Nikki agrees with as she spends most of her time riding the trolley. It makes me feel safer and less of a chance I'm going to catch the COVID since I have to go to work. So I don't want to bring it to work with me or have it in the air around me. We did ask how they will enforce the face coverings and MTS officials say right now they're in the educational phase. They say their staff will have face coverings on hand. But if there is someone who does not want to wear a face covering and refuses, then they will look at possibly writing citations. Reporting from Old Town, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.